Hi, Blue Bonnet Artist. It's Mr. Wilson here, coming at you with a fun um, Christmas project. Um, so we're going to do sort of a, um, a play on a snowman project. A little bit different than just your basic snowman. We're trying to draw it as if we're really low, almost like laying on the ground, making a snow angel and looking up. So like you can see here, how the buttons get a little less detailed as they go up, and there's just dots at the top. Um, also, we're going to create a light source and have a little bit of shadow. Okay, we're going to do that with a pencil. Um, I'm going to sketch it first with a pen. I normally would draw with a pencil, but just since this is an instructional video, I want to um, give you a, you know, have, have, make sure you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to move this one out of the way for now. Um, and I'll show you again at the end. So I'm going to start with just a, the, the, the largest one, as the, the largest snowball is the one at the bottom. That's okay if I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm laying on the ground and I'm looking up, so I'm, you're going to have to change your perspective here. I'm going to do my medium one right here, and then my head, my, my smallest snowball is going to be right around here, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have a light source, and here, this example I have the sun, okay? For here I'll have the moon, this will be a night, um, a night, a snowman at night. Uh, so there's my moon. And the way you're going to really create that illusion of perspective is, that with the, you know, we can, you can start with the buttons. And this button is going to be really big and have lots of detail. Like I can see all the little holes, you know, the four little holes that the yarn goes through. And then I'm going to kind of just do a straight line of buttons going up there. And each one's going to get a little bit smaller and a little less detailed. So this one is a little bit smaller. Okay, still see a lot of the details, but maybe about as much as the other one, but then I'm going to start getting a little bit smaller. And what I could do now is just kind of sketch them all. It's kind of easy to make sure you're going smaller whenever you do them sort of in a row. And then maybe by the time you get up here, they're just getting really small and they're just a few dots. Maybe you don't even see those top buttons. You're so far down there. Uh, so I'm going to kind of do a quick version. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the scarf, okay? So let's say the snowman has his scarf up here. It looks pretty small because it's kind of far away. It's got stripes on it. And then it'll gradually get bigger as it comes towards you. And then when, it, when it's down here, it's pretty close to you, so it's going to look really big. But kind of like when you're standing and you look way far away, the road gets really small the further away it is, or it looks really small. It's not really smaller. That's just that's the perspective. So I'm going to kind of create that illusion here by kind of closing it off and making it come to a point right there. Um, same thing with my stripes. They're going to get a little bit um, less detailed and look smaller because they are smaller. Off in the distance. Okay. So there's going to be a lot more together up there. Uh, now, uh, my, of course, my eyes... I'm going to just do regular snowman eyes, his carrot nose. Okay, the carrot nose is kind of going off this way. The coal mouth, or the rocks for the mouth. I'm hoping we have a chance to make snowmen this year where we live. You never know. I'm going to give him a Santa hat. Because that's always fun. It's going to go this way. Okay, now... With um, our shadow, we know our moon is on... Oh, oh, I'm forgetting his arms. He's got his stick arms. This arm, he, maybe he's dancing. He's happy because it's, it's almost Christmas. There's his arms. Now, since the moon is right here, I know that my shadows are going to be on this side of the circle. Everything, really. The arms, the scarf. You get everything a shadow. But I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to do that. What I want to do with my pencil is I want to shade pretty dark, just along here, until about where the light would be touching. And I'm pushing kind of hard with my pencil. It's okay if you go over a little bit. Same thing on all the sides. And then I'm going to use my finger to sort of blend that in. If you've had me in art before, Especially if you're a third, fourth, or fifth grader, you've, you've done some shadowing and blending, maybe even second grade. So um, you might kind of already know what to do here, but I'll still demonstrate it real quick. And what I'm going to do with my finger is just sort of 
blend that pencil lead out. And that kind of creates, kind of makes it look less like a pencil did it and more like a real shadow. And I'm just kind of in a circular motion. Some people like to use like tissues for this because they don't like to get their lead on their finger. Uh, or they think it's, e they, you know, they feel like it's easier to blend. Um, you can use a tissue for this if you want. But what that does is it, is it creates a nice shadow, right? And uh, I could even do that on the sides of the hands and this, like, the opposite side of where the light source is. Because you know the, the light, even the moonlight, creates shadows, right? And this is where all the light's going to be. So you wouldn't see a shadow in this area. But you would see a shadow on this side. So that's why we're doing this. Now, with this example that I finished, um, I used watercolor paints to paint everything. You can use whatever you want. You can use crayons, markers, color pencils. I just want you to have fun with it. Um, take your time. Feel free to send me an email um, with a picture of your finished work. Um, have fun, guys. Merry Christmas.